Whether you want to bring delicious freshness to your table, learn new skills, or just love gardening and harvesting what you grow, join us on how we get ready for spring. It's hard at the end of the season when you wake up and your whole garden looks like this one day. So it's time to pull everything out and start all over again. A bunch of this is gonna go into the compost, but the goats also love it too. We have to start with the soil. This compost was made last spring from all of our kitchen scraps and grass clippings and the leaves that fell from the previous fall, as well as the old plants from the previous season as well. I don't know about y'all, but I love Texas Sweet 1015 onions. I'm using onion starts this season. They've been good for me in previous years. I use my kids marker because the cap is about an inch and a half long. So I stick that down into the soil and it digs the perfect hole to plant my onions about an inch and a half deep. I also turn the marker sideways to get a good five and a half to six inch spacing between the onions. Then it looks like this. When I start my seedlings, I like to use a really light, fluffy mixture and a little bit of perlite in there as well. You don't want anything too chunky or else it can prevent the seedlings from germinating. I'm gonna fill up my seedling trays and then it's off to planting. I grab my seeds, I have a lot of seeds, my planting chart for when I wanna have things planted out by, and then I just choose which ones I wanna plant this season. To ensure that I have at least one germinate, I do put two in each pod on most things. Remember to tag everything that you plant, you will not remember. After a good watering down, time to go into the greenhouse. I repeat this process until I have all the seedlings that I want planted. Of course, we have to have pretty peas. I'll do another video shortly on watching these guys pop out of the soil. Remember to tag everything. Get it into your greenhouse. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.